message affirmation this morning is, I am a dynamic spiritual being. And we all absolutely are. And we're also dynamic human beings. And uh, we're also dynamic in all the things we do. As I look around, I see we have a dynamic uh, pianist, a dynamic soloist. We have dynamic uh, audiovisual people. All of us, we're all dynamic in all the things that we do. Of course, a lot of us, we'll look back, and some days we have a little doubt. We don't feel so dynamic. When I was uh, thinking of preparing uh, the message for this week, I was uh, thinking back to uh, some of the early days when I had uh, taken over the leadership role, and I was thinking, boy, I was not a dynamic speaker at all. Uh, you can't imagine the number of times when we would go and, and form our circle, uh, let there be peace on earth, and I just wanted to somehow melt and slide out the door because I felt I'd done such a horrible job of giving the message. And uh, that was a challenging time. And so certainly as we go through life and all the things that we do, uh, there are going to be those hills and those valleys. You're not always going to feel like you're the uh, dynamic whatever it is you're doing. But in all those circumstances, in all those situations, you're always a dynamic dynamic spiritual being, always a dynamic spiritual being, and always a dynamic human being. So I know maybe I'm not always a dynamic speaker, but I know I'm a dynamic human being, and I know I'm a dynamic spiritual being. And when we look back at the word, uh, which actually has its origins, it comes from the Greek, as uh, so many of our words do. It comes from the Greek word dunamis, which actually means miraculous power, miraculous power. So this is a wonderful thing to have and to know in your mind in all things as you uh, go out and do all the things in the world that you do. Know that you have miraculous power. It doesn't sound wonderful. It makes you sound like a superhero or something. You know, you can leap from tall buildings, but don't go leaping from tall buildings. But anyways, <laughs> spiritually you can. Think of yourself spiritually doing that. But in all things, we are absolutely dynamic beings, and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to know, because certainly uh, as we go through the paces of life, and life certainly does put us through the paces sometimes, and we uh, have times when we're feeling a little blue, a little gray, uh, and we uh, go to the doctor, we get a diagnosis that's not so great, or we have a looming financial challenge that we're not sure how we're going to meet, or uh, we're having trouble with a, a loved one, or uh, a, a relationship that's not too great right now with a, a, a child, or a spouse, or a parent. Uh, in all of those circumstances, in all those situations, it's wonderful to know, uh, no matter how gloomy it looks, or what the outcome seems like it might be, that we are, in fact, dynamic spiritual beings in all of these things. Our spiritual power is further energized through our prayer and meditation. And uh, anybody who's been uh, coming to the fellowship for a while knows that we are great advocates of prayer and meditation and affirmations. We know every week we do our responsive reading. And I know some people may th you know, wonder what that's about. And what we're doing is we're affirming these wonderful positive messages. We're affirming it in our mind and in our world. And we know that uh, in all things we do, we can think something, but you know, when we put it in words and when it's in action, it becomes uh, so much realer and we become so much more aware of it. And that's why we are such an uh, advocate of affirmations and prayers and meditation. We have all of these wonderful tools to connect with God. And these things only serve to energize us as dynamic spiritual beings in all things. So uh, a wonderful thing to remember as you're going through, as we say, uh, these challenging times. And the reality is, like I say, you know, life as a uh, human beings puts us through these paces uh, because we know that we're all human beings. We're going through a human experience, but we're also spiritual beings. And so regardless of what's happening at that human level, whether uh, you're facing a challenging diagnosis at the doctor's office or uh, you're having a financial concern or uh, you're up against the wall or you're having some relationship issues with uh, a loved one or a family member or a coworker or a neighbor, know at all times that you are a dynamic spiritual being and to connect with that source, devote yourself to prayer and meditation. And if you are in a situation where maybe you don't necessarily have the time to stop and do that, in your mind, and even aloud if you're able to, use these positive affirmations. Uh, that's why every week we have uh, not only to start our service and in the middle of our service, but in our message, we have these wonderful, wonderful, dynamic, affirming affirmations. So no matter what 
life seems to be handing you at the moment, remember to stop and remind yourself, you know what, in all of this, I am a dynamic spiritual being. Nothing can get me down. Nothing can get me down because I am absolutely a dynamic spiritual being. And we know that we absolutely are. So this week, when you get some time, and like I say, hopefully everybody gets a little bit of time to stop and reflect and, and be spiritual, and uh, if you do have the time to meditate or say a few affirmations, that's wonderful. Uh, but when you get around to it, ask yourself this question, am I being bound by limited thinking, or do I see all opportunities? Do I see all the opportunities knowing that I am, in fact, a dynamic spiritual being, a very dynamic spiritual being? So as you think about that, say, like, you know, am I limiting myself in all the things that I want to do in life, in all the things that I, sh I can do in life, because I think that, um, oh, you know what, I don't have that education, I don't have that degree, I don't have enough money, or, you know, I don't have the strength to do that. Uh, rethink that and know that that's limited thinking, and remember that, indeed, you are a dynamic spiritual being. And we, uh, certainly in New Thought and uh, in a lot of faith beliefs, understand that Affirmations are such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing and a, uh, a wonderful way to get through a, a challenge or a circumstance. I know, uh, certainly I talk a lot about, you know, I, I run a small business for a living and like a lot of small business owners, uh, you know, when payroll rolls around and sometimes that number needed doesn't really match the number that's in your uh, bank account, uh, you know, it causes a little bit of anxiety. And I find myself, you know, reaching for these affirmations. And, you know, sure enough, time and time again, God is there for me and it comes through. Uh, so by not panicking and, you know, becoming anxiety ridden and, uh, you know, running and jumping off the roof because you might not make payroll by being calm and centered and connecting with that divine and using these positive affirmations, I am indeed a dynamic spiritual being. And that miraculous power in me, because uh, as we know and as we are aware of it, New Thought, God is with us and within us in everything. We're all spiritual beings. We're all a part of this great makeup of God. So we all have this miraculous power, and we just need to tap into it, and we do that by connecting with the divine. So we use the power of positive thinking. We use the power of prayer, and we use the power of meditation, and definitely we use our positive affirmations in all things. And indeed, uh, just as I'm going to face this uh, new challenge, this new hill to get up, uh, you too, in all of your hills and all of your valleys, tap into the fact that you are indeed a dynamic spiritual being and know that there is nothing that you can't conquer. Uh, because as we talked about, I, I think last week, the week before, it's that we're never alone in these situations. God is with us and within us in every circumstance, in every situation. He is right there with us. And so we need only tap into our miraculous power through the power of prayer, through the power of affirmations, and through our positive thoughts and words and deeds. And we can absolutely overcome anything. And the good news is that we are all dynamic spiritual beings. We can all open our heart and our mind. We can expand our spiritual vision and encompass a wider view. A fresh perspective allows us to perceive new and unexpected ideas. We need not be bound by limited thinking. We see opportunities we may have previously missed through our connection with the divine. All things are possible. That is such a, a constant message in, in New Thought and certainly here in our fellowship that through our connection with the divine, all things are possible. And that's because we have miraculous powers. And that's because we're all dynamic spiritual beings. So take that with you this week. And no matter if you are at the top of the hill or you're in the bottom of the valley, know that you are a dynamic spiritual being and there is nothing that you can't overcome. All things are possible with God and with our connection to the divine. So that's a wonderful, wonderful uh, thing to take away and start your week with on Monday as you get up and look in that mirror as you're getting ready to go out and do whatever it is you're going to do. Know that you are a dynamic spiritual being and there's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can't conquer. And it is absolutely all within us. All right, I'd like to invite you to join me in prayer now. Eternal and loving God, we thank you so much for giving us the miraculous power of being absolutely divine spiritual beings. We thank you, God, for being with us and within us in every circumstance, in every situation. We thank you, God, for letting us know that with our connection to you and the divine, there is nothing that we can't conquer. 
We thank you, Lord, for being with us in all things. In the name of faith, hope, and love, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.